So, here's a question. Where are you teleporting to? The other side of the door. <clears throat> and who's the one using Dimension Door? Trin. Excellent. So everyone has to arrive adjacent to you. I'll let you guys pick out how you want to... Uh, your positioning, and then I will reveal what you see. Mm, it's uh, hard to position ourselves when we can't. Okay. Yes, I know, hater. I was busy revealing the area. Mm. That looks fine. So, okay. except I think Olaf was carrying Xavier. Mm hmm. Oh, Xavier. I forget. If he's carrying me, do we share a square? You and Speaks can switch spots. Or you would share a square with me. One of the two. Everyone's good where they're at? Yep. See if I got this down right. This is gonna be a world first for this broadcast. Can I correctly? Did you guys have the picture pop up? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep. All at once. Hello, Jordan. Jordanus. So. <laughs> The room reeks of savage chemicals. Wait, let me double check. Yes, I did enable the volume back on the stream. The room reeks of strange chemicals. A five foot wide metal walkway looks out over a large pool of foamy, filthy water ten feet below, from which five metallic pipes emerge from the walkway above. Four of these pipes are five foot in diameter and extend into the four corners of the room to a height of about a foot above the balcony. Each is filled with a different colored bubbling liquid. The fifth pipe is 20 foot wide and extends to the north. This pipe is filled nearly to the rim and shuddering. Glowing green sludge pours out. Thin streams of fluid flow through the air from the four corner pipes to drain into the central one. A stone throne floats in the air above the slime. So he is floating five feet in the air above the slime in the back. Upon his throne, as soon as you arrive, he seems kind of shocked and immediately begins casting spells. Roll for initiative. You greet him as Jordamandis and he's, he's like, What? How do you know that name? Xavier, you act first. I'm just looking at my options on this spell. Um, uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go for a greater forbid action. Okay. And the action I'm going to forbid is cast. Okay. Uh, so, does he have spell resistance? Nope. Then he needs to make a will save. So, let's see here. Forbid action. Cast. Okay. 
What is the DC he's looking to beat? 20. Boom. That's been happening to me a lot in <laughs> games lately. Admittedly, I didn't have a, much of a chance, but the natural 20 is just insult to injury. Sure. Um... That's a standard action. Um, I will quick draw one, my primary weapon, in case I need to cast another spell, and I'll be done. Okay. Trin. So he's actively casting currently? I, I should say he is flat-footed to you, and his first mm -hmm. action will be to cast. He is okay. preparing to cast. Um. I'm going to move over to here. Um, and just for fun, I'm going to try to hide while I'm doing that. So... 44, and uh, I'm going to ready an action to counter counter spell. Okay. You're, you're readying like a dispel magic to counter spell? Or uh, it depends on what he tries to cast. Okay. Okay. Okay, he begins casting. And there's my spellcraft. You identify him as casting Summon Monster 8. Which is Whoa. an 8th level spell. Um, which means that I think I need to use Dispel Magic if I want to try to do this, but how does this work? You must make a Dispel check to counter the other spellcaster's spell. I don't know what a Dispel check looks like. You need to do 11 plus his caster level. You roll a d20 plus your caster level. So I have maybe... 30% chance. Um, I suppose I will go ahead and try anyway since I ready an action to do so. Okay. Um, so my caster level plus a d20. Okay. Nice. You dispel his spell, but in the process reveal your location, correct? Correct. And he immediately snaps his fingers towards you and a glob of uh, the sewage behind him begins to fly towards you. Let's see here. What is your touch AC? My touch AC is 21. Okay. Let's see. You must succeed on a ranged touch. And his ranged attack is a pretty pathetic, actually. You might evade. I think you are going to evade. Yep. So uh, this thing flies at you and it hits the wall behind you and begins sizzling and digging deeper into the wall as it goes. Okay. Okay. Speaks with. Uh, as a swift action, I am throwing cold ice strike. Reflex save for half. Okay. Uh, DC, uh, ba 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 sorry. Uh, he takes it. Okay. Uh, so 50 points of cold damage. Okay. And as a standard action, I do what I, I should have done before I came in, uh, but I will throw frostbite on myself. Okay. And as a move action, uh, let's not be in totally good fireball formation. Done. All right, Olaf. 
Uh, what's the screen stuff? Is it like, is, oh, how big is the room? Fine. Yeah, I can fly over it. How tall is the ceiling? It's 20 feet still? 20 feet. Okay, cool. Uh, I will hover. How tall am I? I'm 10 feet. And so then I. Five feet above. Yeah, so then I'll be five feet off, just parallel, you know, level with him. Okay. And I'll move up to. I'll move up to there. I will charge him. If you charge, you don't move all the way up to him. You stop at the closest space you can attack oh, him. Oh, you're right. Yeah, then I'll move up to here and then attack him. Okay. 36 hit. Yes. <coughs> A large portion of your damage is reflected off of his incredibly hard skin. All right. Uh, isn't your don't don't you all wait to adamantine? I do not have adamantine. But it's plus five. Yeah, when plus I'm five, raging, my sword is a plus five. Ah, so plus five, a plus I, five. I, I was. I'm in the process actually of changing all of these to fives to make that more clear. Because it's a plus three furious weapon. So, is a plus five weapon. So I think a plus five you get through adamantine and even alignment. Is it alignment? So you get a five. Or? Alignment is five. So we get through both adamantine and alignment. May help. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. So the uh, canisters set into the floor that are pushing this ooze into the air that floats into the pipe above this guy all begin moving. And let's see here. Do, 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 do. I think it specifically says they have a different amount of reach. They do. Uh, so they are going to hit Olaf once, speaks with once, Drin once, and twice. So these uh, <clears throat> these things floating through the air just intelligently stop floating into the pipe above him and begin like slapping you guys in the face. So let's start with Olaf. So are there like tentacles coming out of them, or is nope. it just like gobs? It's, of it's ooze? actually globs of ooze type stuff moving towards you very slowly. This is speaks with, and two attacks on Drin. I'm guessing the 25 will hit, but the 13 will not confirm. Um, this is against regular AC. Well, it's a critical hit, so. Yeah, 25 doesn't hit normally. Then. But the 25 doesn't automatically hits. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there? I wasn't looking. There was a natural twenty. Yep. Uh, yes. So that will hit. Okay. What is your CMD? <laughs> it's really, really great. Uh, twenty-four. Okay. So it doesn't manage to envelop you and pull you into its stream, which would be fine. You would be perfectly safe if it did that. So you take two D three plus one D four. Do you have any acid resistance? I do not. You take 13 points of damage as the black ooze hits you, and okay. I need you to make a will save as you are filled with remorse. Okay. No, he's not. No, he's filled with the remorse, but it just doesn't affect him as much. Savior. Uh, first things first. Uh, swift action to make my armor acid resistant. Okay. And light fortified. Okay. And this guy is surrounded by ooze, so without flying, there's no real way to get into melee with him. He is... Yes. That would be a reasonable assumption. Because he is flying on a flying throne. Okay. Um, then I better... Uh, does Speaks or Drin want me to try to soak up uh, AoEs and attacks from these drums? 
Nah. But not, I don't. Is total defense just... a standard or a full round? Standard. Okay. I will take total defense. Okay. And I will move to here. Uh, I don't know if these bucket things can take AOEs, they but... Can. Okay, go for it. Okay, they both miss. And that's my turn. Very well. Drin. So, I'm, I'm not sure I have a clear picture of these pipes or tubes that these things are coming out of. I'm sure, I'm so assuming no, things are still coming. Think of them as wells, and things are magically floating up out of the wells and going to a tube that's above him, and then dripping back down once mixed. Okay, so this over here is on the ceiling, and these four ones here are the four are on the bottom, that on the ground? That pool you see there, there's a tube of everything that's being combined above it, and that pool down there is beneath him. He's floating his throne over it. Okay. But the, the things that are bubbling up or whatever are coming from all four of those pools in the corners? Yes. I'm just wondering if I can somehow... Well, no, Xavier's on the ground. I was uh, trying to wonder if I could use Wall of Force in some way to actually block those things off. Or some of them, anyway. Um, create vertical planes up to 120 foot square. They have to be continuous and unbroken. So, what does this look like? You could easily block off the southern two, but that would block our escape. Right. Yeah. Um, it would also block anything else from coming in behind us. Yeah. I'm thinking this isn't going to do a whole lot for me. Um... Actually, no. I'm. You could I'm also kind of block off any one of them individually if you wanted to. Yeah. You're missing the part where you could block three, but but it would cut the party in half. Right. <laughs> yeah. Quite literally. Um, Good times. I'm just gonna launch a scorching ray at him. I think. Okay. Excellent. All of them hit. So I don't know if he has any sort of resistances, but if not, he's looking at 47 points of fire damage. Okay. He looks fairly injured at this point. He starts bleeding. The blood is like pancake batter, but black. Super slow moving. It's practically sled itself. Anything else, Trin? Uh... No. Olaf, what is your touch AC? <laughs> uh, let's see. 17. Okay, so he snaps his fingers again, and another glob kind of uh, floats off. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's let's coming. do it. Nope. How could you fail to confirm against the 17, Olaf? <laughs> and... Uh, he knocks his fist on the uh, throne twice. He disappears and uh, reappears down here. Olaf, you are taking... Let's see here. Heavy. So I presume on the 44 I recognize that was a dimension door spell? That was not a dimension door spell. It was not. What was it? It was a dimensional steps. Oh, okay. Olaf, so we fight. four acid damage, which is going to bypass your DR. Yep. Because it's magical. 
Yep. And the acid sticks to you and continues burning your flesh. Ouch. Then you hear the man on the chair around and say, Come to me, my minions. Let us fill their bodies with ooh. <laughs> <laughs> then he picks up a donut from somewhere within his robe and starts eating it. Yeah. That's because I want a donut right now. They're good. Speaks with. Uh, this guy yeah, is as on. amazing as I hope to be in a few years. I want to look just like him. <laughs> with that beard too. That beard is awesome. And a chest full of alchemical poisons from a demon lord. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? Uh. I, damn, I need line of sight for that one. Sorry, just looking at my various weird abilities. Okay, so I need a line of sight for both of those. Never mind. Um, I'm going to go here. Does it look like there's an obvious way to open this door from this side? Let's see here. That's correct. In that case, I'll open the door using my hair. Okay, open the door. That's it. Sorry, I assume it's a standard action to open the door, right? Well, it's a move action. Close enough, I had to do a take a move action to get there. So that's it, I'm done. In, in the process, the yellow pool reaches out and tries to hit you in the face. Sure. Yep. <clears throat> Olaf. Kill him, Olaf. Uh, so if the geography is such that I can open the door without blocking Olaf's charge lane, I would do so. You could. Uh, could I could, I? could I open, open the door from there? My my hair has a reach. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to charge through difficult terrain and squeeze. He's flying. Him. I'm flying. That that doesn't change the fact that you'd have to squeeze to get a direct line on him. Fair enough. Okay. All right. I would, I, so then I would, I'll. I, Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, all we've had is this area described to us. I've never even seen it, so there's no way in the world I would have known that. Alright, so, um, then I will move to there and attempt to hit him. A 45. Or 44. Okay. Alright. The oozes are on patrol. It looks like one on Drin, one on Xavier, and one on Speaks with. We'll go in that order. <clears throat> I'm guessing that can't confirm on Speaks With. What is your CMD, Speaks With? Uh, my CMD is uh, not very good. Uh, 23. It fails. Do you have any acid resistance? I do not. Oh, sorry, yes, I did. I put resist energy acid on myself. I lie. Okay. So it gives 10 points of damage to you. Sorry? Sorry? It still does? That's real damage? Yes. Okay. Okay, at the beginning of the new round, a number of challengers join the fight.
Xavier, it looks like you're up first. Drin, how high up are you flying? I am equidistance between the floor and the ceiling, which I think puts me at 10 feet. So, I can't reach you? Um, well, figure you're six feet tall. If you can make an acrobatics check of 16 or better, you could jump up and touch me. Does that sound right, Mr. GM? Sure. Uh, okay, then I defensively cast... Um, Resist energy acid, and I automatically make the 16 to jump up and touch Drin with the held charge. So there you go. How? I mean, how high do you need to jump? Six feet? Uh, well, we said I said he was six feet tall, but if you figure if his arms are extended above his head, it's probably he's probably within two feet of me. Okay, sure. And I forgot the fact that you double the acrobatics check if you do. Yeah. You're not running, but yep. if he's two feet out of reach, then that would be an eight times two is 16 anyway. Yep. Okay. Okay, that hurt my brain, but the long and the short of it is you have 30 acid resistance now. Cool. And that's Thank my you. turn. You can automatically cast that defensively? Yes, third level I can automatically cast defensively. Okay, Drin. And we don't... There aren't things around us that we can attack back, right? They're just you little floating things. can try to attack the uh, floating things back. Ah, uh, just go for the bad guy. Hell, those floating things. It's 30 feet. That's 35. Or 35 feet. And there's nothing between me and him from here. Um, so I've got line of sight. We kind of surprised him, so he didn't have a lot of time to buff. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be silly, and I'm just gonna toss a, a magic missile at him. Okay. It hits a shield and bounces away. Oh, he did have time to cast one. Or he's got like a perpetual one going. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Anything well, that's else? my move and my and my standard. Okay. Let's see here. Boop, 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 40 foot airwalk. Sounds good. Too many cooks. Olaf, you're getting any of this thing was past you. Alright. They're just going to spend their whole round showing up. 37 at the one that walked by. Yep. Alright. 48. Okay, and they, uh, their eyes like blink at each other, and then they turn towards you, and in your mind you hear them speaking in abyssal. Do you understand it? Nope. Okay. But they start licking their lips when they see you. <laughs> they have lips? Yeah, can't you see their stomachs? Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, he, he disappears, reappears over here, and pulls a rod out from underneath his butt. Uh oh. <laughs> Were you laughing about the uh, storage mechanisms for his rod? Yes. <laughs> uh, who knows what kind of clever pouches he has in his seat. <laughs> Let me ask Olaf, how high are you flying currently? Five feet off, like I was when I was after, what's his name? Alright, you're getting an AOO, is that creature? Uh, I'm sorry, actually you won't, because it's coming right. through the water. It unsubmerges itself under you. As does this one. And you know if they're gonna unsubmerge under you, they're gonna do it right there. Thanks. <clears throat> Speaks with. Uh, okay. Uh, you willing to you willing to go? Uh, you willing to get moved, Olaf? It seems like that would be the best possible thing for me right now. 
Five. That's what I was thinking. It Five. does put Drin directly in harm's way, though. Unless uh, he's so hidden. I will be moving to this square here. I guess I have to be this square here. I am sure I'm provoking from this guy. That's fine. How high are you flying? Uh, as high as I'm flying, about five or ten feet in the air. How high is Olaf flying? Five feet. So I'd be flying ten feet in the air. Okay. So does that? Uh, I'm sure I provoked on you. Are you taking attack opportunity? I think he will indeed. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> it attempts to bite you as you're moving close. It's only fair. Twenty-six. Nope. Okay. And then I go here, and Olaf is in these two squares here. How does this happen? Uh, I'm using time hop. Okay. As they move, as they move action, I can teleport. You know, similar, pretty much the same thing he did. Okay. To where? To there? Am I in the right place? Yep. Okay, Olaf. And, uh, done. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tap my heels together for haste. I love being the beach, the uh, the killer delivery device. All right, and then uh, I'm going to declare a raging brutality. Use of my raging brutality. <clears throat> I got 120, 16, nope. one. Ten. When you roll a 20 on him, it misses. Okay. So how about the 45? The 45 the... will hit and kill him. Oh. But All the right. 20 misses. Okay. I know, it's weird. Uh, he didn't even get to cast a single offensive spell that was useful. Take that rod and sit back down on it. Ah, oh, Speaks! You're the best taxi service yeah. in all the land. <laughs> uh, neither of those are going to hit Xavier, which brings Xavier up. Uh, Xavier is going to try to acrobatics past these things and out of the room. Okay. I am moving at half speed. Okay. So it's 25? Yep. All right. Full round action to get to there. Sorry for leaving you guys back like that, but it seemed like a good idea. Dream. No, it's fine. Um, are we just going to... We didn't... What do we need to do here? Are we just getting out of here? Because we, we, the goal wasn't just to take him out. Recipe yeah, we, book. Recipe book. So, so, we, we, need to, now so we, need, we need to deal with these creatures here so we can search and everything, right? I think so. Okay. Um, then I'm going to drop a fireball on these guys here. Okay. Um... So that would be... No, I got it. Uh, you're going to need to make four SR checks. Okay. Um... Well, I'm going to roll this and we can reference it back if it makes any difference. Um... Okay. Since I already had it set up. And spell resistance checks is my caster level or ability score modifier? Caster level. So we'll go left to right. The two in the middle both succeed on their SR, and so you break through there. The two at the edges, your fireball just kind of curves around them. Looks very okay. strange. And then um, both do their reflex. DC 19. So half 26 is 13, that each takes 3 damage. Well, that was effective. Um, and I'm going to move back into the room and have a little more space to maneuver. Okay. That's the end of my turn. When you do so, you're going to provoke one AOL. From one of these guys down here? The ooze. 
here. Oh, okay. Olaf, can you make a will save? Alright. 30 plus applicable bonuses from our feast. Okay. Can you make another will save? Both of these things turn their horrific eye upon you. 36 plus okay. other applicables. Let's go on to go here. You know, goes here. Both begin taking Xavier. Xavier, what's your AC? Uh, 31. First one is going to hit you. What is your, let's see, CMD? Uh, 29. Okay, it does not force itself into your mouth in the process. You have acid resistance, right? Uh, 10. Okay. So I'll roll this separately. You take one acid damage and nine physical damage. Okay, it speaks with. Um, on a knowledge, do I have any, I'm going to see if I have any clue what these things are. Uh, so that's a knowledge 26 planes. No. Okay, I'm going to re-roll that. I want to know what these fucking things are. Uh, so that's a... Question, right? Uh, sorry? That's a 29? Uh, but it's, it's actually, that, the second one is actually a 38. Okay. You can ask so, three, four questions. Uh, what are the defenses? They are. I mean, that's a pretty broad question. Do you have something specific uh, in mind? What energy? What what elements are they? Are they? Do they? Are they immune to? They immune are, or? System? They have resistance to acid, electricity, fire. Ten. They are also immune to cold, poison, and mind affecting. Yeah. All right. They also have spell resistance. Okay. And I guess what are their attacks? Uh, they have two slams, a bite, and two tentacles. The slams deal constitution damage, and the bite has two poison. Um. Any special abilities of their attacks? Yes. They have their horrific appearance where they force someone to look at them. They become paralyzed and disgust. And, uh... Are they servants of Jubilax? Are they what? Servants of Jubilax. Uh, they do find their way through the abyss. But they are not specifically known for being servants of Jubilax. They are clip off demons, which are I'm sorry, they're clip offs which aren't specifically demons. They're the creatures that existed before demons. Okay. Cool. Uh okay, so I'll call all that out. That sort of Sounds like we just uh, let Olaf bash him, but uh I guess I'm just gonna move up to sorry, I think on the wrong thing. Uh, oh shit! Olaf can't get. Olaf's gonna have to squeeze to get into them, isn't he? Ah, uh, fuck it. Five foot step here. I will move to here, and Olaf can move into here. Before squares the right of me. Okay. So, Olaf, I do need to do a bit of damage to you real quick. Alright. I have not been uh, upkeeping your acid. You take nine points of acid damage. Alright. And that was a five foot... I think I still got a standard action. It was a five foot step and a move action. You can't uh, so move and take a five foot. I did not move. I took a move action. 
Oh, I thought you move. five foot step over here and then you walked across. Five foot stepped and then you move equivalent using time hop. So I don't, I don't know I if I started standard or not. It's kind of. It's not clear if the time hop counts as a move or not. It's up to you. Well, let's look it up. What ability is it under? Uh, it's under the Oracle. Uh, Oracle of. Um, uh, probably, ta probably. Uh, time hop is a time is a move action. Okay, so do I still get a stand? Yeah. Okay, in that case, I'm going to hit the guy with my hair. Uh, God knows if I've been hit. God knows if it if it can take non-lethal. Let's see here. You miss. Mostly, I think my, battle, my my thing today was to be the Olaf delivery device. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, I guess I will launch into a full round. I'll click my heels together for haste. <clears throat> um, and there you go. Uh, the twenty will not hit. Everything else will. So three. Is it still alive? Nope, you cut it into pieces, but it takes all three attacks. Alright. You can see that something is affecting you. Your attacks are somehow not as accurate as they should be. Alright. Not as accurate? Yes, that's correct. I think Drain is out of range. Nope, he's in range. Of one. <clears throat> So the creatures burst forth from the pipe and miss Xavier, facing off against two demons. Yes. Um, first thing, swift action. My both my weapons gain plus one. Okay. And the primary one gains holy. Um, so I'm just. Uh, I'm just. I should not probably have bothered updating my macro on this, but. Uh, what the heck? Um, so I'm going to attack the one directly beneath me. Okay. The 40 is a critical threat. The 33 is a critical threat. Are they immune to criticals? Just a moment. Do that, that, do that. Yeah. And are they immune to criticals? The answer to that question is yes. They are immune to criticals. Uh, you okay. Of course, do your whole eight damage. Sixty-five damage. Okay. Tell me about your weapons. Uh, one of them is now plus five. The other is adamantine plus four. Okay. The adamantine plus four doesn't deal full damage. Uh, okay, that one did 13 and 21, so I'm assuming they have something like 10. I don't know. And what did the other one was 17 and 7? And then I think the 25 hit or not? 25 will hit. Not hit. Not hit. Okay. So uh, 24 from the first weapon and then um, 13 minus DR and 21 minus DR. Okay. So. All right. Anything else? I'll, I. Hmm. Um, that's full round action. I don't really want to. F no, I'm done. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to cast and defensively. Um, sure, I can't fail. If I'm being threatened, I will. Okay, it's just a second level spell. Um, so I'm casting, and suddenly there are seven of me. Well, eight of you. Eight of me, and um, 
then I'm going to move, and if need be, with a haste as a swift action, whoop, I can get there in acrobatics if I need to. Okay. Do I need acrobatics? How high are you flying? I'm equidistant between the floor and the ceiling, so I think that's 10 feet. Okay. You do not need to acrobatics. Okay, and as part of the move, I'm going to draw my rapier, so I'm now threatening and flanking with Xavier, and that's the end of my turn. Well, if you're 10 feet in the air, you're not threatening them, because you're not even in contact with it. Um, Are you floating down 5 feet? If I can, or I will yeah. acrobatics, whichever I need to do. No, I mean, you can drop down 5 feet as part of your move, if you have enough move left, yeah? Yeah, I do have enough move left. Okay, you do that. Pull off. Make a will save as this thing stares intently at you. Plus whatever applicables. Yep. Okay. Save your your AC is still like twenty nine or something. Thirty one. Thirty one. Okay. So they need a 10. They hit with two attacks. Okay. Each. What is your CMD? Uh, 29. The second one is going to grab a hold of you. Which one is the second one? The one I was attacking? Yes. Okay. So let's look at the damage here. And you can't liberate and command yourself. That's... Well, I can't speak anyway. You can't speak. That is true. D6 plus 8. Is that what it was? Or is it the other way around? That's D6 plus 8. So you take 24 physical damage. Then no acid damage. Because you have acid 10, right? You are correct, sir. Okay. Can I take an immediate action now? And liberating command him? I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, so you can reroll and you get a plus 20 bonus on your escape artist. <laughs> Here goes. <clears throat> so let's see here. 41. And you need slightly less than that, so you're good. Thank you, he says as the ooze <laughs> flows yeah. back out. Oh. Okay, speak with. Uh, is the geography such that I can fly over this guy? Yes, but it's 20 foot high, and he's 10 foot tall with 10 foot reach, so you will provoke. Oh, sorry, yes. I was assuming I was provoking. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so I will fly over to here so I can see what the fuck is going on in both battles. Okay. Uh, take your attack. 30? Nope. Okay. Um... Am I correct from where I currently am? I am giving finding a flank for Olaf? Mm, sure. Okay, so I'll whack it with my hair. That means oh. miss. <laughs> so that's a one, so clearly miss. Olaf. Uh, so, Olaf, you get plus four on all the attacks then because of the flank. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm not going to include that, but. That's my haste attack. So I'm using another haste. Okay. Do those hit? Yep. You'll need to roll to confirm. Right. So one of the cool guys who can deflect criticals. Okay. Sorry. So rolling to confirm. And a one. Okay. Roll your damage out. How's he looking? I think he might be dead. He is dead. Alright. It does leave the corpse. No one is in range.
change of any of these things. Xavier. I'm uh, trying to look up fighting defensively, and I'm not finding it. Uh, what are the penalties for fighting defensively? It's uh, minus four to attack, and you get plus two to defense, plus three if you have three or more ranks in acrobatics. Which I do. All right. Uh, I'm going to spend a fervor a okay. as a swift action to cast um, divine favor on myself. Okay. Uh, so that's plus three, plus three luck. I have a flank, but I'm at minus four because I'm fighting defensively. So it nets out to plus one, plus three on this on these rolls, and I'm attacking the same one I attacked before. Okay. Uh, thirty-one. 36, 35, the 25 we established misses. Does a 31 hit? Let's see here. 31 will hit. Okay, so that's the plus 5 weapon. So he takes 14 and 8 holy. So that's 22. The second weapon, uh, his damage reduction applies, so that's 14 minus whatever. Okay. And the third weapon is a full 19. So I believe that's uh, 45 if his DR is 10. Indeed. It is still mostly intact. Well, you know, Mama told me there'd be days like this. <laughs> Drin. Um... I am going to attack this fellow here, um, but I'm just using the... I'm going to try to aid uh, Xavier's next attack, because I can't do any damage myself anyway. Um, so I successfully aid his next attack. Okay. I think you get a plus two. And um, then I'm going to move out of the way, which will provoke... so that Olaf has a, a pathway to get up there. I'm sorry, I forgot the plus three damage that I got from the spell, so that thing takes nine more. Okay. So let me see here. I thought you had to remain in contact in order for the aid to work. Um, it's just a standard, uh, standard action. Um, if you're in a position to make a melee attack on an opponent that is engaged, you can attempt to aid your friend. Oh, I have to be there when he does it, you're right. Well, no, it says they get a plus two on their next attack roll. Okay, all right. I'll accept that. So okay. you move back. You're going to provoke AOs from both of them? Yeah. If you're sure. What's your AC? Uh, 29. Oof. Okay. okay. And they have a one in seven chance of hitting the real me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well... So one or a one in eight chance, yeah. They blow through two re-images. That was why it wasn't quite as silly as it looked like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gone very poorly if he had ended up smothered. But looks like he got out of it for now. They continue to beat down on Xavier. So three hits. Uh, okay. Xavier's armor class is up by three, Yeah, right? it's 34 right now. Okay, and they have a plus 21, so it's three hits. Okay. Damn. <clears throat> and D6 plus eight three times. And the acid damage. You'll take 7 acid and 23, 32 bludgeoning. 32. Well, it's slam, so it's 32 everything. Um, and 3 grab attempts. And they're definitely going to succeed. So. Uh, Immediate action, liberating command. Okay. Alright. 
hesitate to ask, are you waiting until they're all done attacking, or are you doing it as soon as it happens? But I uh, just want to know if I get multiple grabs on them. Uh, speak Swift. Uh, so I kind of agree. Le letting Olaf um, get in there seems like a good idea. I'm going to move back here, quickly look at the uh, the, the guy, the, the really beast flying guy. You guys Nature can fly over them, right? Aren't they only five feet off the ground? Isn't it like a ten foot? That's correct. Twenty foot. So you move over to his throne, which is still floating there. And I just, I just want to make sure that he is not regenerating, not healing, still yes. dead. Okay, that's it. I'm, I thought that was worth an action anyway, so I'm done. Olaf. So do I have to? I don't have to squeeze if I'm right here, do I? Nope. Okay. So then, um, but I'm. It, I can't move up right next to them to here, can I? Or do I have to squeeze there? No, you'd be fine there, I think. And so I'm flanking here, but I'm not flanking there. That's correct. Oh, I guess I'll risk a little bit of smothering and I'll move to there. Okay. And then I will attack. Um, I believe the one that I'm flanking is the one that looks the most injured. Is that right? Yes. So then that's the one I would attack. A 37 will hit. It is still intact. Okay. Savior. Before your turn begins, Savior, you are given to a brilliant light show as all four pools begin exploding, and the ooze that is floating magically through the air just collapses down into it, and they all start turning green. Cool. Ooh, pretty. You, you take us to the prettiest places, Savior. You're up, Xavier. <laughs> All right. Um, I have the eight other yep. this round, as long as I'm attacking this guy. Yep. I'm not grappled. I got right. free. Okay. Then, uh, as a swift action, I heal myself. Okay. Sounds nice. And then, uh, and then this thing annoys me. Uh, well, I mean, if you really wanted to, sure. All right, so my attacks against the one directly below me are at plus five, plus three, right now. Okay. On top of this. So, uh, the lowest one is a 33. Okay. Um, yes. All right, 24 from the first one, all of which gets through because it's plus five. Um, then 21 minus 10, then... Uh, this thing dies on the first hit before you get too frisky. Okay, um, dies on the first hit, I can move on, yep. but I'm at minus four, so I'm, so I'm 33... The, la the 28 and the 30 no longer hit. Okay, so that it's just forward. six points of damage. Okay. It looked awesome, though. That's what I do. I'm anime guy. I look awesome. Not necessarily all that effective, but I look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Drin. Um, I'm going to hold my action. This creature slithers into the water and disappears. Coward! Mm. Yes, it can use dimension door as a swift action. Okay. It must enter a contiguous mass of liquid. Done and done. And the slithering didn't provoke? It's a swift action. All it has to do is be in contact with the water here, which it was. Victory Just asking. Yours. 
I think this is the first time you've actually eliminated and end a hall master. <laughs> We've successfully dealt with quite a few of them, but yes. Sure. If that's your definition of dealt with, yes, you have dealt with a number of them. Well, dealt with means negotiated in some context. Sure. All right. Uh, ouch. Yeah. You're a little beat up there. Now, do I have two more acid damage hits coming? Or do yeah, those just go away? Fine. I'm sure it's fine. All right. So his massive obesity and heart of slime made him immune to critical hits. Ah. Uh. Sorry, demonic obesity. Mm. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So what do you do? Uh, I go check on Xavier. Or Xavier. He's mostly dead. He looks kind of like a guy who's had two Omox demons in his mouth. A <laughs> taste he will never forget. Hey. They weren't in there for very long. <laughs> they don't have to be. <laughs> Some things, once they're in your mouth, I imagine, they leave a lasting impression. <laughs> We want to burn the wand to burn spells. <sighs> um, I've got two wands of cure light wounds, so I'm gonna go ahead and or or so, not. Someone's already taken action. Well, so you can you can do it as well if you want. So just uh... no, no, it's easier for you because I have to make a use dot magic device check. Okay. I mean, it's an easy one to make, but I have to make two rolls for each one, so. 29 for the first five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21, 25, 28, 29. That's 57 so far. Need more, you, uh, how many more? Do you, you still need more? So you? Oh, sorry, I'm muted. Uh, you don't need to use the last one. Okay. Well, let's search the throne and this guy first, looking for uh, interesting stuff and magic and stuff. And recipe books. And recipe books. Okay. You don't find any recipe books. You do, however, find his spell books. And you find the following gear, which you easily identify. And using read magic, you can certainly go through all of his scrolls. You also find something that might be very useful for one of your party members. A manual of gainful exercise plus two. Sounds fun. But finally, after some deep searching and a view through his spell books. You do find a handout. Not that one. Not that one. Yes, that's the one. Oh, wow. I don't think the people at home can read that. It's unfortunate. Would anyone like to recite it out loud? Moonforged weapon components. Sloth, a mixture of the poor humans. Humors, sorry. Greed, waters from the pool of elemental arcana. Envy, vial of Athelion. Lost one of Delverine's personal toys, perhaps. Pride, a shard from any of the mirrors Varaxis has looked in. Wrath, ashes from anything in the halls of wrath. Gluttony, some of that delicious Ifrit wine. It's Inib, but yes. I know it looks like it. Okay. Inib is the winemaking house, so... I thought there were two components that we needed, though. I will leave it to your note taker if you. So 
take a look. I believe that's right too. At least that's what I had. I had it written down that we needed something from the Hall of Sloth, which was the book, and then we needed one from Lust and one from Pride. Okay. There may be multiple ways to make different Runeforged weapons. We don't right. know. I, I believe that's what we had learned last time, unless I'm misremembering that. But I thought that's what your wish told us. For those looking for the spellbook, he has the following spells prepared. <laughs> So what was he going to bring in with Summon Monster 8? I don't know, but it would have been nasty. <laughs> Fair enough. That was my first counter spell ever. It was kind of cool. Uh, I think it was very well used. Could have, could have, uh, if it had failed, the battle would have been very different, I think. Big time. It's not often you get to throw around 8 level spells, so... It's nice that you guys picked up on the fact that Karzog likes to use Wish. I was trying to be pretty explicit about that. Just so it's not a surprise when it uh, shows up. I'd have to say this guy's probably partial to Hezros, so he probably would have brought in either Hezros or like 1d3 plus 1 uh, rocks. Well, that's what I was more interested about, whether it was going to be one big thing or a whole bunch of little ones. It could have been awesome if you brought in a bunch of rocks and they just threw spores everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> I once nearly wrecked a table with a, a flock of rocks. They got rock flocked. <laughs> rock rocks? Well, I have no idea how to say that, but either one sounds awesome. The flock of rocks rocked the party of... The flock of rocks rocks the flocks. No. Yeah. While listening to Waka Flock. And Thanks, I'm Rock. <laughs> I was listening to the Vice City soundtrack again. I gotta stop. It's so good. Oh, yeah, it is. So good. That's the only reason I played that the little bit I did. Well, I thought it was nice playing out, uh, what's that movie? Scarface. <laughs> I mean, it basically is the story of Scarface there towards the end. Just no tigers. Uh, so, what's the plan? Can Let's at least go over to this this area here and search this area. There's nothing additional. Okay. Now it should be noted that the throne continues to fly, and upon any close inspection. It's because, not that the throne is actually flying, it's just that it's not falling because two unmovable rods are holding it up. Cool. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's take the unmovable rods with us. Yeah. So who's going underneath it to remove the unmovable <laughs> rods? <laughs> uh, Don't yeah. we need a command word or something to move them? <laughs> you can UMD that. Uh, you can. Um, I think mine is plus 15. Is anybody better? Uh, you are way better than I am. You going underneath it to move them, Drew? Um, I think at the very least it would be prudent to put something large and supportive under it, like a mechanics jack. Oh, you sure? Okay. <laughs> I was looking forward to instantly killing someone by crushing them from the throne. <laughs> Yeah, That's no, I was going to ask unless, um, <laughs> unless I can use ranged Lairdman to do it. Um, can you move stuff that's magical with ranged Lairdman? Um, there does it's yeah, no, it doesn't say that you can't at all. Okay. Well, then sure. Um, so then I'm assuming I would take a minus 5 on this for doing it from a distance, which means it's probably not going to do anything. Well, I mean, you got to UMD it, so Yeah. Eventually you'll succeed with your magical abilities. 
Uh, we have searched the throne thoroughly for secret compartments first, right? Yep. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> Did we find any secret compartments <laughs> under him, or do we... Uh, I don't want do to... Need, it, it almost sounds like rod. we have to do a body cavity search. Yeah, I don't want to know where he's hiding where he was rods. keeping the rod. So... Uh, I think this is a good place to end for the night because we have a big pile of equipment and stuff to update. I don't know if anyone wants to take anything from that. Can we just figure out how we're getting out of here without swimming? I'm sure you can just time step or something. You'd be fine. Yeah, we have access to fly and such. Um, I would take the ring of protection if nobody else has a use for it. I have a plus one, but he had a plus two. I have a plus three, so I'm fine with it. Uh... Okay. I have interest in obviously the book of plus two strength, gainful exercise. Take it. Yeah, it's gonna take. We can't use it right now, but you should definitely have it. Um, and then the rod of absorption. I think speaks probably should just carry that in a free hand all the time. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't always have a free hand, so I think it makes more sense for you to have it. Yep. I would have loved for him to have that ready for the fight. Would have been nice. Okay, then um, I'm going to add to the loot list my plus one ring, and I'm going to plate the plus two ring instead. Very well. Sound reasonable? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. No big deal. You sure okay. it's not a big deal? Make a big deal over it. It's a huge deal. Olaf is incredibly jealous of your shiny new ring. But he <laughs> contains it in himself like a good party member and doesn't lash out with you with the hate that's in his heart. Give him where it comes from. I doubt it's shiny or new. Uh, <laughs> also true. Fair enough. Is, that, is anyone wearing a cloak of resistance less than plus three? Nope. Oh. Just want to make sure. And I have a handy haversack. But we probably shouldn't bore our viewers with this. Nope. Yeah. This is, this is why yeah. we're doing it at the end here. This is the perfect time. Okay. Uh, I'll grab that diamond dust if anyone. I think diamond dust is useful for me for something. Hold on. Uh, diamond dust is permanency and oh, it's permanency. Never mind. It's of no value for the stuff that I'm currently using. Don't doing stuff. Well, I suppose I could use it if somebody wants no. more permanency. Oh, no, sorry, diamond dust. Diamond dust is restoration, as well. Mm, there you go. Take it. Thank God for spreadsheets, man. Yeah. Um, you guys are going to get bored by spreadsheets and equipment. Now is the time to sign off for the night, but thank you for joining us. <laughs> um, I think the scroll of teleport must be mine, but stone to flesh and planar ally, are those both divine? Uh, they probably are. Uh, planar ally... Planar Allies, Cleric level 6. Uh, it, it is on the Shaman list as well. So if no one objects, I'll take that. Yeah, uh, no. Go for it. Mm, planar Ally. It's a great spell, but people won't use it. It's too great a spell. It's the, it's the one you keep. It's the one of the ones you always keep until you... until... and you never realize you need it. I spam that shit, dog. I walk okay. around with angels on my shoulders. <laughs> so, and it looks like the stone to flesh one, I think, is mine. I'm not sure anybody else can use that one. Yeah, I definitely can. It is a witch spell, so it might be shaman. Uh, what level is it normally? Uh, I just grab. I I just grab something else. Go ahead. Go for it. Okay. Stone skin's a shaman. Close enough. Wall of stone's a shaman. Stone tail. But not stone to flesh. Yeah, st stone to flesh is a shaman spell. What level? Uh, level six. I'll go ahead and take it for now, though. Oh, there it is.
Okay. Is that all the loot? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You tell me. Well, I would suggest we head on to, uh... Do we all have handy haver sex? This is I do. Jin does. To I Radio do. Freaky yes. Sounds like the answer is yes. Alright, so that goes on the loot list, and then... I don't know, and obviously, Drin takes the spellbook. Um, yeah, I can. I mean, I can look through it, but we've got a large number of spell books at this point, and a lot of them I think we'll be able to sell when we're done. Yeah, they're generally worth quite a bit. Yep. So at some point I'll have to go through them and find out what I need, or depending on what time we have to copy them and make copies. But in general, I think most of them we can just count on selling. Yeah, I agree. All right. Okay. That, that's that, then. Sounds like good night, everybody. All right. Have a good night, everyone. We will be back next Monday, yeah? It's Everyone's next good. work week. Yep. 24th. The Monday before Thanksgiving. Yep. Yeah, I can play then, actually. Excellent. Do yep. a change in my schedule to the benefit of everyone here. Awesome. Mm. Maybe we'll clear yet another hall. We're doing about one hall a night. So uh, we could be ending the book in the next two to three weeks here. Cool. And cool. The curse will finally be snapped in half. Like that throne once both of the movable rods were taken from it and it crashed into the ground. Yeah, that's right. That was fun, man. Speaksworth was the savior for me. I would have spent all night chasing things around. With poor action economy, squeezing through tunnels. If he hadn't have blipped me around, man, that was beautiful. I think, yeah. I think everyone participated to a fairly meet. It was an interesting fight that was pretty well balanced. Yep. Yeah, uh, big time. All right, guys, so we'll be back next Monday. If you are currently watching and you want to stick around for an hour and Far Cry 4 unlocks on time, which it won't, you can watch some <laughs> Far Cry 4. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks. Good night, guys. Everybody.